focus groups, we actually sit down and do a, um, do a smaller group where we have just one-on-one -on -one with somebody watching somebody actually use the product. So where we see where people are running into problems, where we may have had some logical leaps. We call them logical leaps when, you've, when, you've, when you're expecting somebody to know that the little tiny icon in the bottom right corner means I want to create an email, and they can't figure that out. So we try to eliminate all those, see where they're getting stuck, and eliminate those, and then go to the final design and testing phase. I want to just throw in something real quick. Uh, uh, one thing that we did, which uh, I'd encourage any manufacturers to do, is we contacted uh, the uh, National Federation of the Blind, the NFB, and we sent it to their lab, and we met with them, and they, they helped us. They, uh, they said, you know, make the buttons a little bit taller, spread this out a little bit here, make this beep, don't make that beep, and, and that's one thing that any manufacturer could do, and they, they love getting involved in the product development process. So as a recommendation to any manufacturers out there, I'd strongly we, recommend it. We, we've got time for one, one last question. The, the Lighthouse for the Blind associations are also great. We've worked with them as well. In San Francisco, there's one fantastic one. All right. Over here. I've got a question you can start with, Gary, which is how do seniors get connected with technology that they don't know about and don't understand? It seems like Fox and we kind of show could at least begin to start doing a, here's a ruler technology. Well, well, in point of fact, all three of these guys were on Fox yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I was just online, though. We want prime time. <laughs> how, about, how about free ads, Gary? Yeah. Because they're watching every day at 3 in the afternoon. Yeah. I, I, I work best at 3 in the afternoon because I'm, I'm asleep by about 7 or 8. Um, so so that, that's fine. But, yeah, uh, when you look at the demographics of the folks who watch an awful lot of cable news, business news, and so on, these are the folks who... Uh, who need to get this message, uh, you know, and, and it's a matter of advertisers and it's also a matter of the content providers sort of getting the message that, that this is really what their audience base is. And, you know, I can do some of that and I do some of that, but uh, part of what I also have to do is look at sort of what's new and what's hot and that's not always going to be for, for that demographic. Uh, I want to thank you all very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're going to leave here with some great ideas uh, about what the next generations of technology can look like for uh, a, an aging population. Thank you.